guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a tutorial for you guys I know I don't do these very very often but I do want to get into the habit of doing a few every now and again so yeah today I have this look for you guys obviously and may I just say that I am obsessed with it no joke I use the Violet Voss Times Laura Lee palette and I am dying at how beautiful this look is. I'm obsessed with it. I just, I can't even describe it in any other way besides I'm obsessed. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So for eyes today, I'm going to be using the Violet Voss and Laura Lee eyeshadow palette. I haven't used this before, so it'll be a new experience for me. My friend Rebecca was kind enough to order this for me when she was doing an order for her Laura Lee palette. So thank you so much, Rebecca. This is what the palette looks like. It is so, so, so gorgeous. So yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see what we create. I think I'm going to start off by just applying this basic shade. I love the name in this palette. And I'm just gonna apply this like kind of to the top half near my brow bone. Even though I've already set my eyes, I just wanna add just a little bit of this as my highlight, I guess. I don't know. Now I'm just gonna take a tapered blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Britches, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna put that through my crease. Now going in with the shade Fried, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to pack that through my crease, just a little bit more concentrated. Just going to go in with that first tapered blending brush. I'm just going to kind of diffuse that fried shade just a little bit. Also with that tapered blending brush, the first one that I used, I'm just going to go into the shade Mama Bird, which is this one up here. Let's take the shade 1988, which is this shade here. It's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous, like foily colored shade. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. So with this one, you just have to kind of push it against the pigment, if that makes sense. Like push it that way instead of flattening it down or else your brush just won't pick it up. I think it's just the type of formula that the shadow is. But once you do it that way, this is amazing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a tissue and I'm going to wipe that brush just to get off most of that red shadow. This shadow is so pretty though, like it's worth the fallout. It's really, really gorgeous. I am going to use it wet later, but I did just wipe most of it off my brush. I'm actually going to take the shade Hissy Fit, which is this kind of like mustardy, goldy shade. Again, just pressing it against the shadow. And I'm just going to pack that where the red shadow didn't go. So in the inner corner and the outer corner. Actually, I'm just going to do it on the inner corner for now. Oh my god, that shade gives me life. This Hissy Fit shade is a better formula or a different formula to this 1988 shade, but it's still really, really good. And I love how it kind of just like transitions into that red. Moving on, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of Fried, which is the second shade that we use. And I'm going to mi mix it with Alabama, which is a gorgeous warm tone red, warm tone brown. And I'm just going to put that on the outer portion that didn't get that shadow and then work it through the crease as well. I'm just going to pat it on first just to get the color and then I will blend it out. Just going to take that first brush that I used that had britches on it, not adding any more product. I'm just going to kind of blend it out just a little bit. Now I'm going to grab that flat brush that we used with 1988 and I'm going to pick it up again. Picking it up against the pan, not with the pan. So I've got a ton of product now on my brush. And now I'm just going to spritz it. Just used a little bit of Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And now I'm just going to apply this to my eye, just where it was before, just to kind of amplify it a little bit. Going to go back in with that small little blending brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Whiskers, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to mix it with Bubs, which is this one. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. And I'll work that through the crease. Taking that first initial blending brush, just gonna blend out the edges. Gonna take that flat brush again and I'm gonna go back in with Hissy Fit just so I don't lose any of that gorgeous color. Moving on to lower lashes, I don't want too much focus to be the whole eye, I want it to be focused on the upper lid. So I am just gonna be keeping the lower lash line very, very basic, I think. I don't know, I'll see how I feel. But I'm gonna take the shade Fried, I'm gonna mix it with Mama Bird and I'll apply that to the lower lashes. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Alabama and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of the lower lash line just to give my eye a little bit of depth. And now I'm going to take whiskers and I'm just going to put that on the first quarter. Okay, so I think for now the eyes are done. Maybe I'll add some more later, I'm not too sure. 
But now I'm gonna go into liner. I hope I don't screw it up because I'm not very good at it. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we go. I'm first gonna go in with the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim Pen. It's just one of these felt tip pens, but it is running out, so I might need to go in with the Bourjois Liner Clubbing Eyeliner. Okay, so the lashes that I'm going to be using today are these ones by Socialize. These are called the Minx 2.0. Um, I've only used these once before successfully. Uh, I've used them a few times and it was a complete fail just because like I can't really apply them right. So fingers crossed that I can actually apply these okay. Okay, so moving on to the face, I'm going to be using this Pixie by Petra. What's this even called? Natural Contour Powder Shape and Shadow, I think is the shade. You get 8.16 grams in this little compact. And I think this compact is quite cute. I'm obsessed with the color. I'm just going to grab a tiny little bit on my fake NARS Eda brush, which I think is better than the real NARS Eda brush. I'm just going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks. I don't like it. I don't like how it looks like... This side, like, I have a window right here, and it's, like, bouncing off my face, so I can't really see it properly, but I don't like it. Like, it actually doesn't look very nice. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with an Old Faithful. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Mine's starting to get a little bit crumbled. Like, if you guys can see how much of this I've actually used, let's see if you can see. Like, I would tip it up more, but, like, there's all little crumbles everywhere. Seriously, my favorite. It's in the shade Milk Chocolate. I think they've renamed it to, like, Meat fair light or like light something or whatever but yeah this never fails me always looks amazing and I double it as a bronzer as well okay so what I'm actually gonna do first before highlighter is I'm gonna use a little bit of this Antipodes translucent powder it's got a beautiful iridescence to it I haven't used it before at least I haven't used this one before I went to an Antipodes PR event for their new Manuka honey skin brightening face cream and eye cream Ah. Um, yeah, so I went to a PR event for their new launch and they actually had the whole collection, like they had the whole Antipodes line on display just so we could play with it. And this was there and I, sorry, my camera cut out. But anyway, I put it on my hand and seriously, I was in love. It was gorgeous. So let's hope it's as beautiful as what it was when I first tried it out. So I'm just going to grab the tiniest little bit. I don't know why there's like that splotch there that just won't pick up any pigment but it happens to me almost every day it's really annoying i'm going to use an old faithful highlighter this is the mary luminizer from the balm and i'm just going to take that on my giant eco tools brush my eco tools fan brush just putting this on the cheekbones for lips what i'm going to do first is wipe off my lip balm now i'm going to use a mac lip liner i haven't used mac lip liners before so this is my first time ever this is in the shade Spice. And we're done. Just kidding. I need to put a lipstick on. So I wanted to use a liquid lipstick. This one's from ColourPop. It's an ultra satin in the shade Echo Park. Hopefully this matches nicely. I've only used this once before. Okay, this is the finished look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go maybe try and fix my hair. Maybe put on a little bit more lower mascara and I'll be right back. Guys, okay, I kid you not, this look gives me life. I am dying over it. No joke. I'm obsessed with how it looks. I definitely will be doing this look again. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed, especially that 1988 shade. It's gorgeous. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe and even follow me on my social media links if you'd like. I'm just the happy Laura on Snapchat and on Instagram and I think on Twitter as well actually. So yeah, definitely give me a follow on there. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this look or anything else in your life. Come say hi, anything like that. I'd be more than happy to talk to you guys. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!